Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, is it a bird? Is it a plane? Chimeratic is a 7% IPA from Fremont Brewing in Seattle, Washington. This beer is the result of another one of those Tavor orders. I seem to be randomly ordering beer from Tavor here and there when the mood strikes, when something interesting pops up. That's generally when I'll pick it up. Uh, Chimeratic is a collaboration between Fremont and Aslan Brewing out of Bellingham, Washington. Now, I don't know if I've had anything from Aslan before, and I know I haven't had anything from Fremont, but they show up on Tavor from time to time. If you're interested in Tavor and want to earn a quick $10 in Tavor bucks, I'll leave a link below. I get $10 if you order two. We can help each other out together, all together, all in this together. And this video isn't sponsored by Tavor. I just felt like during quarantine, it was a really good way to get beer without leaving the house. And I haven't left the house that much. So let's take a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. Fun fact, in Greek mythology, a chimera is a mixed beast, meaning it has the body parts of just a few different animals tossed together. Generally, it's consisting of a lion, a goat, and a serpent. There are, in real life, not mythology, in real life, there are also human chimeras, which include diff two different sets of DNA in that same person. So let's take a look at the label here. Thinking back about what I just said about Chimera, it's really cool to see that this label has some really nice nods to that. Across the top, everything on this is orange or this reddish, dark, deep orange, uh, black, and gold. Across the top, it says Chimeratic in this nice, really, again, really kind of regal gold font or gold print. The label itself has a Chimera of its own, which is really a nice nod between Fremont and Aslan. Fremont's logo includes a, a crane or a heron. Aslan's logo is a lion, so what you see on the front here in gold is the head and the body of a lion and then the wings and the legs and the talons of a crane. Across the bottom it says Pacific Northwest IPA. So what I'm going to pull from that is that this is going to be like a West Coasty style IPA. And then on the side again we have the Fremont Brewing Crane, it says Because Beer Matters. Aslan Brewing Company, which has the lion, again there you go, you're tying the two things together. And then it says Fremont Brewing, Seattle, Washington has the government warning. And then next to the Independent Craft uh, Brewers Association logo, it says IPA or India Pale Ale, one pint, 7% alcohol by volume. This was can packaged on April 6th, 2020. It's late May right now when I'm recording this. It's like really hot outside. Uh, I don't, you don't really need to know that, but I just thought I'd mention it's like the first hot day. It's going to be like 85 degrees. I know it's about almost... To almost two months, so we're a few weeks away from it being directly two months after this was brewed, but I think within three months, generally IPA should be okay. So let's go ahead and crack this open and get a nose on the can here. Like I said, Pacific Northwest IPA makes me believe that this is going to be more of a West Coast, like a bitter IPA. And what I'm picking up on the nose here, just directly out of the can, is a bit of a citrus aroma coming out of it. I'm not picking up on much more than just citrus, but I'm getting a, a nice citrus note out of it. So let's go ahead and pour this. And it's coming out pretty golden out of the out of the can itself. It's not super hazy looking in the, you know, just coming directly out of the can. But as I pour it here into the glass, it's getting taking on more of a yellow gold kind of color, not a bright gold, but a nice yellow color uh, looking at the head. I'm getting about three fingers worth of head, as you can see from the overhead. It has a nice compact head. The, the bubbles are really nice and tight, really close together. A few kind of bursting bubbles on the top, but overall it's pretty nice and white. The, the head itself is a nice white color. It's really dense. And holding this up to the light, it is uh, actually pretty hazy. If I, you know, just kind of mention that off here, the bottom of this glass, again, always kind of plays tricks. So it makes it look like it's a little thinner. It's a little bit lighter. The, maybe the true color of the beer comes through a little bit more because it's, it's a thinner kind of specimen. But at the top here, it's it's pretty hazy. It's not super hazy. It is not, but I wouldn't call this, I would call this hazy. I mean, I wouldn't say, you know, that this is clear whatsoever or filtered at all. It's got a really nice coloration just all the way throughout. And you can see a lot of particulate floating in from the bottom. It's kind of, as this carbonation streams up, you're also, actually, I'm not seeing a lot of carbonation streaming up, but that particulate is really floating up to the top. Let's go to put a better nose on the glass here. Yeah, sweet citrus note to it. It smells like it's going to be really delicious. Uh, Pacific Northwest, maybe that's going to, I don't know, maybe that isn't what I think it means. So, cheers. Mm. 
wow, really orangey quality to it. Not so much just citrus or, you know, the general kind of citrus category, but it's really orangey, really tangerine flavor in there, really orange, juicy flavor. I wouldn't say that it's particularly a juicy beer, but it has the, the flavor itself, the flavor profile is really orange reminiscent, like orange juice reminiscent. So let's take another drink and I'll give you a little bit more information on the mouthfeel itself. Just got a really smooth mouthfeel to it. So the, it's not, it's not, it's, it's kind of a little bit less than medium. It's not really anything. It's typical kind of IPA mouthfeel, but it's that medium mouthfeel, a little bit lighter mouthfeel than medium, but really just almost middle of the road mouthfeel. The taste itself, again, as it kind of sits on my tongue and I kind of swirl it in my mouth, I get that real big orange juicy note to it. Like I said, not orange juicy in the New England style IPA sense of the word, but orange juicy as in like super reminiscent of real orange juice. Super smooth, super easy drinking, 7%, really nicely push down in there. I'm not getting any kind of boozy note out of it at this point, 7%. Really shouldn't be boozy for too many people, but I'm getting a lot of this orangey kind of characteristic as that passes on the swallow, that orange, uh, like the membrane, the center. If you were to cut an orange and you pick the membrane out or you took a bite out of the middle and you got a lot of those little juice sacks and the membrane itself, that's what the, the aftertaste hits me with or the taste as it goes down. That's what I'm really kind of thinking of when I take a drink and I swallow that last bit. And then it has a nice citrusy, um, zesty, orange citrus bitterness. The hot bitterness that's on the end of this is a real nice orange, like zesty flavor. If you've ever bitten into an orange, like the actual orange peel itself, or you've had zested orange peel and something, it is super reminiscent of that. This is like orange through and through. So if, like I said, I was expecting it to be more of a West Coast style IPA. I was expecting to have those real like huge piney, bitter characteristic, resinous characteristics. This has, I don't really pick up on any kind of piney note here. What I'm getting almost from start to finish, well, not almost, but from start to finish is orange, like orange juicy, reminiscent of orange juice like. Then you get that membrane-y kind of orange zestiness on the swallow. And then on the finish, it just finishes out with a nice orange zesty, like orange peel, orange shaved peel flavor. So it, it's like you're going through a, a sliced orange, you know, you're eating from the outside from the, well, without the skin, you're eating from the outside, you're getting the juice from the inside, you're getting the membrane. And then the very outside, you're getting the peel. It's all wrapped up in there. This is a really nice beer from, from Fremont. I was a little nervous holding on to this for almost two months before trying it, but I couldn't imagine it tasting much better being fresh. I'm sure it's probably, there are different notes because I've noticed, you know, you, you notice changes in IPAs over time, but this one right now at two months, this is like great. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting all those orangey characteristics. I couldn't imagine what this would be like fresh. All right, friends, that has been Kim Erratic from Fremont Brewing and Aslan both in Washington, Fremont being in Seattle, and Aslan being in Bellingham. Have you had this one before? Have you used Tavor? Are you getting out of the house to actually buy beer? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes a little extra bonus beer briefs, and you might miss your newest favorites if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, stay safe. Drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little giraffe therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>